Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about upgrading your LS-based engine's OEM rockers and namely we're going to be talking about the trunnion bearings that come installed from the factory versus an aftermarket trunnion bushing kit. So let's start by taking off the rockers and I'll show you what's going on inside the engine. So you can see here, this is a stock GM rocker and the rocker trunnion itself is a little shaft and it's sandwiched between two sets of needle bearings. And what happens all the time is these little end caps, they're super, they're super thin and small and they'll push out over time. And all of the bearings inside, they're hardened little needle bearings. They'll go through your whole engine. I'm not kidding. One of these going through your engine could cause major damage. So if you look at each rocker, there's like what, maybe almost 50 of these needle bearings per rocker times 16 rockers, there's a ton of chances to mess up your entire engine. You see this happens all the time, especially when you get into double valve springs and more aggressive camshaft profiles. So there are really only two aftermarket options out there to alleviate this problem. And the first option is an aftermarket rocker arm bearing kit. And I actually messed up and got this kit originally. And the problem with it is that even though it's got C-clips on the actual trunnion itself to hold the bearing end caps in, the trunnion is made out of super sub-quality garbage steel and it actually wears out. The hard needle bearings wear out the trunnion and it sends metal through your whole engine. So you'll see on sites like LS1 Tech, there are tons of guys out there who have gone ahead and they've bought this $200 upgrade kit to a needle bearing, aftermarket needle bearing setup and it goes and, and destroys their engine even faster than using the stock GM stuff would have. So really the only option you want to use here is this Steve Morris Racing Engines kit. And what this is, is it's a trunnion bushing kit, and it uses bushings and C-clip trunnions instead of any needle bearings at all. So these trunnion bushings are made of a proprietary material, and they can actually handle three times the load of the stock trunnion bearings. So this makes this Steve Morris trunnion bushing kit an absolute must-have for anyone who's going with heavier valve springs, a more aggressive camshaft profile, or even just someone in a stock application who wants to eliminate one huge point of failure that's messed tons of people's engines up. Now you don't need any special tools to install this kit. All you're gonna need is a hammer, a pair of really small C-clip pliers, two washers. Now the washers I found to work are an inch and a quarter OD, 0.645 inches ID, and 0.185 inches thick. And I'll link a washer in the description that's gonna work for you guys. You also need a small chisel, a socket that fits around the OD of the bearing cap that's going to be pushed out and I found a 7.8 socket worked fine for that. And also a wheel stud that fits pretty snug inside of the bearing cap for pressing it out. Now watch the video a couple of times and get an idea of why I'm using the tools I'm using. And if you have any questions or there's something you don't understand, ask me and I'll explain it to you gladly. I don't want you messing anything up. Now you want to start by tightening the socket down in the vise. Then carefully center the trunnion over the socket and pound it through with a chisel. You'll see you use the existing trunnion just to push out the old bearing end cap. Now you can see just how many of those tiny little hard needle bearings are in each end cap just waiting to destroy your engine. So when you want to grab your wheel stud there, and you can see this wheel stud fits nice and snug inside of the existing bearing cap, then you just center it over your socket again and pound it through. And here's what you're going to be left with, just an empty rocker body. Now you're going to want to thoroughly clean everything before reassembly. So to start reassembling this thing, you're going to want to lightly push in a bushing just by hand and you're just going to want to sandwich that bushing and rocker assembly between the two washers. Then carefully put that whole assembly in the vise and lightly tighten down the vise until the washer is flush with the rocker body. Once you've got the first bushing pressed in, you just apply a light coat of engine oil to the trunnion, then place the trunnion into the existing bushing. And center the second bushing between the rocker body and the trunnion itself. 
At this point, you want to sandwich the rocker assembly and washers again, making sure that the washer is over the trunnion on the one end. Don't worry about the washer on the new bushing side quite yet. Now what you're going to want to do is partially press in the new bushing just about halfway. Now here's why I said to partially press in the bushing. You see at this point, now I can carefully center each washer on the trunnion itself and then place this whole assembly in the vise and go ahead and push the bushings all the way in so they're flush on both sides. If you didn't partially push in the bushing, you would have never been able to center these washers on both sides of the trunnion. So just use some caution here when you're pressing the bushings in so they're in their final positions that nothing is binding. You can wiggle the trunnion around inside and just make sure it's not catching on anything. So that's it. With both bushings pressed in, you can go ahead and install your C-clips. I like to rock the trunnion around and double check that the C-clip is firmly in the groove. So there you go. You've got a set of reliable rockers now that can help you achieve big power goals and you're into it for less than 200 bucks. The kit I used here is from Steve Morris Racing Engines. I'll provide a link to the kit in my description. This is the number one kit on the market. This is the one you want to go with. The rest are really imitations. And you'll see Steve uses these kits all the time in 1,000 plus horsepower applications. So spend the money on this one. Make sure you don't ever have to worry about this again in the future. So enjoy your stronger, new, more reliable rockers. And thanks for watching.